All right. We're starting. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello, everybody. Hi, how are you? We are here today joined with Lexington Plastic Surgeons and the infamous Dr. Jones, who is here. Yay! So we have Dr. Jones here. He is our keloid king, and we are today doing a keloid removal. So Dr. Jones, talk to us. Talk to you? What do you want me to talk to you about? So Did you know that tomorrow is keloid awareness month. It's loud out here. And you guys can probably hear me. Maybe we need to get the... I have the microphone. I don't so, know. So, there we go. Sorry. Let's try that. That's for you. That's right. This is, this is called technical difficulties on the fly here. Uh, That's all right. So... I'm not sure you are aware, but tomorrow is Keloid Awareness Day. And it's a very important day that for us at Lexington Plastic Surgeons because, as you know, keloid treatment is a significant part of our practice. We have dedicated over 25 years to working with this disease, a disease that not too many doctors, not too many even tertiary care hospitals want to address these days. We had a patient just last week that came to us all the way from the Duke, Carolina area. And he had gone to Duke Hospital and he, you know, this is a big hospital and big tertiary care center and they turned him away. And he had a keloid on the back of his scalp and they turned him away and they said that we don't treat this anymore. The entire state has just done keloid treatment. And I was just really, my mouth dropped when he said that. So we're here. Right. And as long as I can continue to breathe and continue to fight for this, I'm going to continue to do so. And Keloid Awareness Day is a d very special day that not only are we trying to make our patients aware uh, about this disease and that we're here to treat that disease or this disease, but that we want doctors to be aware because so many doctors aren't aware that a little bump that's starting to grow on you, oh, that's a little pimple, but they're not, they're not really pimples, right? They're the beginning of a keloid. And if they were more aware, more educated, there would be more that could be done while that pimple, or what they thought was a pimple, was really a small keloid, was small. There's something that could be done about it. Because a small pimple might be something like that, right? But that small little pimple that they diagnosed or misdiagnosed can grow into something like this. And that's what we're treating today with this young man who has been riddled with them. He's from California. We have operated on him multiple times. Someone like this, we cannot cure. However, we can drastically improve his quality of life. We actually did the other side. It was very elevated and angry like this. But now it's softer, it's flatter. He's able to move his arm better. He can actually sleep on this side and not have pain. It's not perfect. It's not completely gone, but his quality of life is drastically improved because of what we, the expertise that we have and the, the treatment that we're giving to him. And so today, you're going to be a part of us trying to work on this side. And again, we're not going to be able to take it all because there's not enough skin here. There's not enough skin in the shoulder. One reach across and this whole incision can open. So what we're going to be doing is taking as much as we can and then we're going to be irradiating as much as we can and that will do the similar thing it'll flatten it'll soften it'll make the skin a little more pliable and less painful he has so many areas that are draining pus and i, and I may even be able to show you that on the field when i start to press on it there's just pus that comes out because hair follicles get trapped epithelial cells get trapped and it becomes a vicious cycle of infection, of pain, of inflammation and now growth and now infection, pain, inflammation and more growth. It just becomes a vicious cycle that we're here to break. And tomorrow is a day that we celebrate because we want to educate not only our patients but those doctors, those clinicians that are not so familiar with this disease process. These patients need all of our help, all of our help as a medical community. They need our assistance. 
And so we want to bring awareness to this disease. So come on in. I'm going to go scrub and we're going to get busy. Okay. Now, for this, we have administered some IV sedation as well as some local anesthesia. And as we kind of were saying, we're, there's just not enough skin here to remove everything. We're going to try to remove as much as we can here. And this leading edge is really the hardest, is the, 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 the issue because that's where it's growing. It grows at the perimeter. That's where it's most elevated. That's where it's most painful. And so we're gonna do our best to remove as much of this leading edge as we can. And we're gonna get started down here. You can see there's a significant halo. There's a significant halo of darkness around the keloid, which is two things. It's a lot of scratching that's leading to that because this is very, can be very itchy. The other part of that is the keloid actually growing under the skin. And it goes, it travels under and then elevates. You can kind of see here. So the challenge is the back skin is the thickest skin on the body. So it's a little hard to work with. But God made this thick in order to protect us. Kind of like our turtle shell. You can just see how thick that skin is. The other thing we were going to do is to see if we could express some of this pus that's there, but we're going to hold off on that. Have a towel clip. I'll take your towel. I'll be better. This will not hurt because we've already injected. So we're developing a plane under the, this keloid to see how much skin we can actually advance.
protons, we do know that keloids are something that has not found a cure yet. We have still been trying to seek some sort of cure for this because it is something that affects almost one out of five people of color. So this is something that's very common, but we are trying to absorb as much information that we can about this so we can find a cure. Now what we can offer is great removal and care afterwards. So Dr. Jones has developed this technique with a 95% success rate, which is amazing at helping keloids, but also lessens the chance of them returning back and making sure they're gone for good. So that it's electricity that gets converted to heat energy, and the heat closes off the blood vessels. But we don't get it too close to the skin because it will burn. And for those that are keloid formers, that will just lead to more keloid. What do you mean they never go away? We wouldn't be in business if, we, if they never went away. Right, that's such a trick question because everyone's skin type is different. And so what we do is we try to offer the best care specifically for you. So everyone has a customized plan when it comes to this approach, whether that be doing a full removal or skin radiation treatment or even just enjoying some of our keloid care treatment, our um, skin moisturizing therapy. So that's all great ideas too. And this is a journey when it comes to removal. You know, this is something that you may see success overnight or it can be an ongoing process. The bottom line is we want you to feel better. So this is something that takes time and we know this decision didn't come lightly. So that is why we're here to offer as much support as we can. And as we, we opened up saying that we, we can't, in this case, we can't remove it all, but in the, on the opposite side, when we did, um, he had such, such tremendous relief. And he had one around the neck as well. I don't know if we could go back at some point and show that. That really improved as a result of our treatment. And now he, he's able to live a more normal life. Imagine sleeping on this, the amount of pain. So the other side was very similar, and now it's much flatter, softer, and more pliable. So we, when, when it's this large, we, you know, we can't completely cure it, but we can drastically improve the quality of life because these are incredibly painful. This thick, fibrous tissue is squeezing on sensory nerves constantly causing shooting pain. And what people often don't tell you about keloids is, you know, that sometimes they do start off really small where you may not notice them. 
you know, and it's not until they get bigger and more painful that, you know, people finally decide to do something about them. But that is why we're trying to create more awareness around this so that you don't have to wait until it gets to this point. You don't have to wait until, you know, it gets so painful. No, and, and we want you to treat it earlier. That's what we want to make. Be aware that it, there is a care. That the person who said, oh, there's nothing you can do about them. Well, they're wrong, and that's what we want to educate everybody. There is a whole lot you can do, and it's a lot easier to do when they're smaller. But when they're large like this, we can't remove it all. But when it's small like this, we can. So that's why it's so important to be aware and to understand that there is a treatment. There are treatments that can make a difference and can, can cure you. No, I'm sorry. I really appreciate your support. And go through this tomorrow, I want to notify you that we are doing a raffle at the New York City location. So if you want to participate in this raffle, we are offering free PRP and microneedling, which is great. Great benefits for the skin, great benefits for the hair, and for overall glow. Well, that sounds wonderful. Can I participate in the raffle? Staff are not allowed in this raffle. Staff are not allowed? <laughs> Why not? We'll hook you up with some PRP. What? Well, thank you, Lily Johnson. She says in 10 days she's coming in for treatment. We really Aww. can't wait to see you. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Hopefully we're not scaring you away with all this. I'm glad you are here, though. So this is a great um, tool. If you want to ask any questions or yeah. if you have any ideas, just let us know. Uh, or you can reach us through um, DMs or you can message us on Facebook as well, too. Absolutely. If you have any questions, if we can answer them, so you can just start down here. Where we 
are trying to raise donations to get us to Nigeria, get us to the next <laughs> Dr. Jones has some plans about trying to reach everyone. And for now, what we can do, we can help you with any of these sponsorships that you need. We can speak to our consultants about that. But it's still not in the last where we want to reach you. And it starts by this. It starts by getting all the information you need. It starts by asking the right questions. What? <laughs> Can I have a cupcake? <laughs> you have a cupcake, a crown, and maybe a chair. <laughs> wow. wow. Okay. You. Okay. And as long as I get a cupcake, <laughs> I just want a cupcake. <laughs> All right. Let's get two stitches. This is PRP that we're placing in here. So that's that PRP that we're raffling off. So if you want to join in on our raffle, there is that PRP. These are the benefits of it. Do you want to send it as one? Uh, yeah, that's fine. So PRP is something, it's platelet-rich plasma, which is derived from the blood cells, which is spun down to remove the plasma cells and leave you with this. That's what they call the liquid gold. And in that contains a lot of nutrients that's great for healing and revitalizing the skin, making sure everything's nice and smooth. No, you can do this one. So we have someone with a, she says it's a weird question, weird. but is there a different situation where they can put balloon-like things under your skin to help stretch the skin to help? So that's not a strange question at all. That's a tissue expander 
and we have not we have not had great success with that because the tissue expanders require just as much surgery, right? So in order to put a tissue expander in here, I've got to put a tissue expander in, that's one surgery. Then I've got to inflate that. And sometimes when you're inflating it, the tissue expander doesn't really like to be there and then shoots out the incision that you made and now you're back to square one. If I think that I can remove the lesion serially in two surgeries, why put the tissue expander in? It's more costly to the patient. It's more costly to the insurance company. Um, it's better for me just to take what we just did, one part out today, and then in the second surgery, we'll take the second part out after the skin stretches naturally. There's no need to put that tissue expander in that's gonna be costly. There's no need to put that tissue expander in that might get infected. It might extrude, and now if it extrudes, it, now you've, you've bought three surgeries, not just two surgeries. And aesthetically, it hasn't, it, hasn't always, it hasn't panned out for us. So we've just decided to go away from that and just do more serial excisions, where meaning we take some as much as we can take, radiate everything, and then we come back after the skin stretches naturally and do the rest, do the second stage. But you're still gonna need that second stage. And sometimes by putting in that tissue expander, you have to make another incision that you may not have wanted to make, and now that potentially is another place where you could keloid. So that's a great question. Thank you, that is a good question. That is why we do these. But also, you know, sometimes you do hear one thing from one doctor and then you hear another thing from Absolutely. another doctor. Absolutely. That's why it's called the practice of medicine. No one does everything exactly the same. So it's always great to ask as many questions, but do your own research, you know, and trust judgment. That's why we do these free consultations so you can speak with someone and get an individualized approach. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. One on each side? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, now last question. Is there any cream or patches that will help with itching and growth? Please yes, that, Jones. absolutely. We spent 10 years creating our own product, products, Keloid Care and Scar Shield. And between the two, they are significant helps, especially when it comes to that itching and that pain. So they both are very similar. The only difference between them is that one product has hydrocortisone in it. That's the keloid care, but they both have vitamin, um, vitamin E, they both have silicone, they both have uh, uh, beta ionone, which is a very powerful antioxidant. They both have aloe, they both have shea butter, cocoa butter, aloe, but that one difference between the two is the added hydrocortisone in the keloid care to really go after that itching and that inflammation that sometimes can, can result. And these products we recommend not only for our keloid patients but even for our cosmetic patients to use once a day. One, either use the keloid care in the morning or the evening and then the scar shield in the morning and the evening. They have a very nice viscosity to them and that viscosity is very important because the one of the things that helps to prevent the keloids from coming back is in fact the, is in fact the um, massaging that you do at the time that you're applying the cream. So that makes a huge difference. So the viscosity of the ointment it helps in that massage. We then also want you to use a silicone bandage after the application of the cream. And once the cream dries, then we want you to apply a very thick, thick, thick silicone bandage. Not one of these silicone bandages that are thin, little wispy pieces of tape. That's not going to work. It needs to be a thick, heavy silicone bandage. But you can purchase that cream 
at keloidcare.com, or you can do it, I believe, maybe on, even on our website, lexingtonplasticsurgeons.com. But we have lots of people that are not able to get to us for surgery that utilize the creams and have had great success. So hopefully that will help. So that is a great point. We do offer the keloid care. And if you would like to purchase, it is offered on our website. And you can purchase it in person in our New York City location. So if you are ever there, when you come in at, for your skin radiation treatment, you can pick up some keloid care on your way out, and that's a great way to get you going. All right. So I just want to thank everybody for joining this live, and thank you all for being here with us. Tomorrow is Keloid Awareness Day, and we will be doing a full social media takeover, so be sure to come with any questions you have. And you're ready to party. Go to the kids and shoes. I'll see you there. All right.